okay so welcome all so in this uh, session again uh, our next speaker is uh, mohammad suhel rizvi so he is a faculty member in the department of biomedical engineering at uh, indian institute of technology hyderabad and he will be talking on continuum modeling of planar cell polarity so you have 30 minutes uh, time swell and then okay. this go ahead okay so okay. yeah screen is your so just please okay so thank you sudipta for the introduction and 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 uh, i would also like to thank the organizer for inviting me to this wonderful meeting so before i start i would like to tell you that this the work i'm going to show it was done in collaboration with mohit and shriram from iisc and most of this work was done during this uh, lockdown so yeah so as i so as my title said that i will be talking about cell polarity so first i should tell you what do we mean by polarity in tissues so polarity can be in 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 uh, of of many types it can be it can be described by the shape of the cell or uh or 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 the or, or the structure of the of the cellular components or organization of the proteins so in the context of uh, epithelial tissues uh you can still see my screen right yes we, we can yes yeah we can ah, okay 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 so in the context of epithelial tissues which line most of our the outer layer of our most of our organs as well as skins so these epithelial tissues have a structure where 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 uh which has an epico basal polarity that is along the axis connecting the epi their ep the epical and basal ends of of the cells and this epico epico basal polarity in case of in case of epithelial tissues is primarily characterized by the differential distribution of different proteins which are which are shown in this particular schematic which has a very complicated uh, interaction networks and 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 this particular polarity is not uh, this uh, is 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 essential for for several of biological functions which include nutrient transport addition migration of the cells and has also been implicated in in metastasis of the cancer but 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 the polarity i am going to talk about is not this one but but another one that is known as planar cell polarity that so this particular polarity is not uh, in not in the direction normal to the surface of the tissue but within the surface of the tissue so before i uh, go in before, so first i would like to give some examples of the of the disruptions of the planar cell polarity what happens when planar cell polarity is not well established so this shows couple of examples where where the where the planar cell polarity has been disrupted by some either some some genetic mutation or some perturb genetic perturbation in the experiments so you can see in the left top corner the it shows the arrangement of hair cell in in the ear of a mouse so when the pcp is working fine then you can see that the hairs are oriented in a in a very orderly fashion and when the pcp is disrupted then the organization of those cells is completely uh, uh completely disordered and 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 this i mean this is not only limited to hair cells but not only limited to hairs but 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 to several of the organs in in our case also you can see that the hairs which are there on our skin uh, they are also not oriented randomly so they have some ordered they have some order in them so you can see that the hair on our body are also uh, aligned uh, they are also oriented in a in a, in, a, in a defined direction so in in our case the the hair orientation in our skin is little more complicated than these uh, these model organisms so in case of for example drosophila or mouse hairs which you can see in the in the bottom two extreme in 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 the bottom three panels so that also shows that the planar cell polarity when the planar cell polarity is intact then the cells are aligned with each other and 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 that that alignment of hair is also aligned with the with the axis of the tissue or axis of the organ however when the pcp is disrupted by any means then this organization also gets disrupted which you can see so similar to epico basal polarity the planar cell polarity is also characterized by by the uh, by differential distribution of of some proteins which i will come to in the next slide 
so here these these i mean these images are just to just to show you that how how the planar cell polarity are uh, the proteins related to the planar cell polarity are distributed not uniformly at, at the cell membrane but uh, but in a non uniform fashion so if you look at any of the and, and any panel in the top image uh, that shows the apical cross section of an of an epithelial tissue from from drosophila fly and you can see that the that the that the proteins are not uh, are not not marking the not marking the cell boundary uniformly so for instance uh, if you take any image then the proteins are localized more along uh, you can see that the, there is some vertical streaks going on in 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 those images that is uh, that is uh, protein are localized more on that particular edge not on the other so how does this asymmetric distribution of of these planar cell polarity proteins take place so 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 it has been this particular uh, uh, this particular uh, system of proteins which 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 regulate the planar cell polarity has been under study for for quite a some time now uh, especially in, especially from the experiment point of view and there has been some uh, quite uh, quite detailed information available now but there are still some open questions there so this particular uh, actually schematic shows the 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 shows uh, the 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 the, uh, the membrane of two uh, neighboring cells so there is one particular protein which is labeled as fmi here or flamingo so this particular fmi protein of one cell interacts with the fmi protein of the neighboring cell and forms a homodimer now in addition to this particular protein there are some other uh, proteins which also localize with this fmi but you can see that 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 the green protein which is localized on on uh, near the fmi of one cell that green protein is not present in the other cell in the other cell this purple protein is localized that means there is some interaction between 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 these two proteins which actually either uh, promote the localization of of the protein of the same nature or they inhibit the localization of the protein of the opposing nature and 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 uh, uh, thanks to the research of the past couple of decades it has been uh, the interaction between these proteins have been found out and it turns out that uh, that there are some uh, positive uh, uh, feedbacks that is there there, is, there are some proteins which actually amplify the amplify the localization of their own type and 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 they repress the localization of the of the proteins of the opposing nature but 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 this is always supplemented with the with the formation of dimer at the in, uh, at the interface of the two cells so i mean this simplistic argument actually can uh, just uh, give some uh, idea that, that 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 such interaction can possibly lead to asymmetric localization but this does not tell you that how does uh, the direction of the asymmetric localization is coordinated with the axis of the tissue so if you consider only these such interactions which are uh, which are due to uh, the the dimer formation across the uh across the across uh, across the membranes of the two cells then then that that orientation that localization can happen in any direction uh in the plane of the tissue so there must be some some extra ingredient in this whole system which which can coordinate the polarization of these proteins in the cells with the axis of the tissue or axis of the organ or, or uh, axis of the organ so 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 these protein which i have uh, just shown in this particular slide so they are known as core module of of planar cell polarity they are called core module because they they are they are responsible for the local alignment of 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 the cell polarity in a tissue but but this local alignment does not lead to the global alignment so for global alignment there are different players so which is known as global module so in this model there are not many proteins there are only three or four proteins so as as i show you here that there there are two main players which are known as fat and dextrous ft and ds so they are uh, some they, they are uh, uh, atypical cadherins so they also form they are expressed at the at the in the extracellular space of uh, at the at the apical end of the epithelial cells but the difference between these and the flamingo so fmi protein which i showed you on the previous slide 
so that was forming a homodimer that was it was forming a dimer with its own type from the neighboring cells but in case of fat and dextrin they form a heterodimer so fat of one cell actually interacts with the or 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 forms a bond with the dextrin of of the neighboring cells uh, and and there is another member uh, that is a kinase four jointed or fj so four jointed actually modulates this affinity between fat and dextrin so uh, four jointed actually phosphorylates both of fat as well as dextrin but uh, but but the but but uh, but the modulate but the modulation of this affinity happens in the following way that is uh, the the phosphorylated fat has higher affinity for dextrin but the phosphorylated dextrin has a lesser affinity for fat so in that sense fat in in that sense the four jointed actually uh, increases the the, uh, the affinity it increases this heterodimer formation but uh, uh, through fat but decreases the heterodimer formation through dextrin uh but but still uh, this does not tell you where is the global axis where is the global information coming from so global information comes in the form of the expression gradient so 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 four jointed fat and dextrin they are uh, they, they are present uh, not uniformly in the tissue but they are expressed in a in a gradient manner throughout the tissue so 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 the right panel shows a shows an example of a of the wing of drosophila fly where dextrin and four jointed are are present in in opposing gradients and this particular tissue level or organ level gradient which is sensed by the cell and 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 this uh, global q actually uh, uh, also regulates the alignment of the protein asymmetric distribution in the core module as well so you can see that because of uh, such a uh, complex interaction between different proteins as well as some spatio temporal dynamics which is also there in this whole system so 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 there have been a lot of uh, uh, modeling works to understand and un understand the dynamics of this, of this whole process so here i'm just going to give you a couple of examples so here is just uh, so 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 most of the work which have mo not most I, i should say almost all of the work which have been done in this particular area have uh, considered the tissue to be a, 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 a have modeled the tissue as a discrete system so in this particular discrete system if you consider a one dimensional model so cell cells are arranged in a uh, uh, in 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 a one dimensional lattice and if you look at if you focus at the interface of any two cells then 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 you can see that you can uh, there will be some uh, some dimer formation at the two interfaces so here i am just labeling uh, the dimer uh, so the dimer forming protein as a and b uh just 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 to just to give you an idea that this a and b can can stand for either flem either uh, uh either the dimer forming protein from the core module or it can also uh, these proteins can also stand for the dimer forming proteins from the global module so this is a sort of a general framework so so most of the modeling studies have uh, taken into into account different degrees of details so some of the modeling works which uh, which, uh, which takes into account the, the 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 asymmetric distribution of 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 these proteins on this one dimensional cells by labeling the two edges of the cells as left and right which are shown in these equations so you can write down the equations as uh, as 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 as, as uh, uh, attachment of of the proteins at 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 the two cell edges and and detachment of the protein from cell edge to cytoplasm back and and the last and and then you can also calculate what is the amount of the formation of the heterodimer and then you can then then these works have actually studied different uh, different different physiological aspects and and there is another approach where people do not take into account the 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 localization of individual proteins but they write down equations in the form of the heterodimer itself and 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 similarly others as well so so the whole message is that 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 that's a, that uh, uh, due to the complex nature of this whole system one can actually model uh, one can actually mod, uh, model this whole system in model this whole process in 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 different ways by taking into account different details uh, in 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 considerations so 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 modeling works are not limited to one dimensional model but there have also been some two dimensional modeling works as well so here also the the whole approach is roughly similar but here but 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 uh, but here also the the 
the tissue has been considered discrete as a discrete arrangement of cells. And, and you can again write down the equations, not in a 1D lattice, but in a two-dimensional hexagonal lattice. So this is one of the most, uh, one of the very early works uh, uh, on, on, on the modeling of planar cell polarity where, where they actually uh, wrote down uh, uh, equations or uh, 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 the, the, the dynamics of, 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 the, of, the, of, of, of the formation of different uh, complexes between these proteins and, 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 and study different physiological behaviors. But I should tell you that this particular model has many, I mean, nearly 40 or 50 parameters to study. And, but, but, uh, and, and, but, 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 but this was one of the very early works. And since then there have been different progress. Uh, there have been a lot of progress where people have reduced the number of independent parameters, which are used in these models to, to a very few. And in, in one of the very recent works, uh, it has uh, the, the effect of the cell geometry or the arrangement of the cell has also been studied. So, 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 so j j j just, to, just to summarize this, uh, is, so, so summarize this, uh, the existing modeling framework is that, that most of the work which have been done have been, uh, uh, have considered the tissue as, as a discrete framework. And then they wrote down the dynamics of the protein uh, attachment and detachment at the cell interfaces and, 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 and try to see how does that leads to polarization or asymmetric distribution of, of the proteins. In that sense, if you look at it, then, 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 then this part, these particular approaches actually represent, uh, they represent cells to, be, uh, uh, cells to be independent agents, which can interact with their, with their nearest neighbor. And there may be some dynamics involved, but 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 but, uh, but but from a bird eye view, you can see that there is a lot of similarity between this particular approach and the Vichek model, which is used to study the dynamics of uh, active particles. So, so the angle from which we were trying to look at this problem was if we can come up if uh, because these approaches rip, uh, are, are are discrete in nature. So can we come up with some continuum theory for 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 for, for for this problem, for this particular biological phenomenon. So, 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 so that's what I'm going to, I'm going to show. So, so, uh, yeah. So before I describe the, uh, so I, I will first describe the, uh, describe the model in, in one dimension. So in one dimensions, if you look at it and if you take the continuum limit, then you can actually replace the, 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 the location, not by the cell index, but, but as a, as a continuum variable X. And, and, and similarly, I, we also take into account the adsorption of the protein at the cell edge by some rate alpha and, and detachment of this protein with detachment of, of the protein from cell edge to, to the cytoplasm back by some constant beta. And, and this is just the, just, just the, uh, the dynamics of the, of, of, of the protein distribution at, at, uh, at, 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 at one of the cell interfaces, which can be written as, as a competition between the attachment and detachment. And similarly, we can write the equation for all the four species. And, and, and uh, when we take into account the, when we non-dimensionalize all the variables by, by appropriate quantities, we finally get these non, not, get these equations for, uh, for, for, the, for, for, for the amount of uh, total protein, which is localized and the asymmetry in, in, in the localized proteins. And this simple 1D model actually shows that the cells can polarize when the protein, the, when the total expressed protein is above a, above a threshold amount. So I will not go into detail about 1D model because 2D is more interesting. So in 1D, we, we have only two coordinates for the cell, that is its left edge and the right edge. But in case of 2D system, uh, it's, uh, the, the, the protein can localize at any point along the cell periphery. So here, uh, in case of two dimensional system, the, 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 the protein, uh, the, 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 the protein on the cell membrane is not only a function of the cell coordinate, but also uh, coordinate along the cell membrane that is represented as theta here. So here also we can write down the equation in the same, uh, in, 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 in uh, with the same idea of, of, of the competition between the attachment and detachment, as well as diffusion of the protein on the cell membrane itself. And, and 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 this particular approach is quite uh, quite popular in when 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 in 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 the in, in studying the hydrodynamics of the active 
active uh, active matter so uh, so we can integrate these equations by multi, uh, uh, by 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 multiplying with the uh, with, with with different harmonics and we can obtain the equations for uh, and and we can obtain the the equations for 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 the total uh, total protein which is bound to the membrane that is a naught and b naught and as well as the polarity of these two proteins in 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 terms of the in terms of their asymmetric distribution so the asymmetry or or the polarity is represented by these vectors pa and pb so these equations looks i mean to me they look quite scary and they look uh, to be very hopeless to be solved analytically but 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 we can still look at some some special cases where 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 we can still solve them and obtain obtain some obtain some some analytical understanding so one one case can be uh, what happens when the protein when the when the total protein levels in all the cells throughout the tissue is uniform and the, at the same level that is rho and we we just we seek a homogeneous solution to this to this particular problem so if when we are looking for homogeneous solution that means we can actually ignore the 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 space dependent variables and it turns out that 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 for uniform expression level of the proteins there is a homogeneous solution which is there and 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 uh, 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 and this particular solution what we observe is that when 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 the when, when the protein levels are below a threshold that is a rho c in this particular plot on the x axis so below this value the, the the cells are not polarized so blue curve actually shows the magnitude of polarization but uh, but when 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 the protein levels are above this critical threshold then cells start to polarize so this is actually characterized by supercritical pitch fog bifurcation so 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 this is just a uh, homogeneous solution but 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 this uh, but we also have to look whether this particular solution is stable or not so we 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 so so uh, i have not uh, shown you in detail but you can see that that the, uh, all of these solutions are stable in 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 presence of the any uniform perturbation so that is any perturbation which does not depend on on the spatial coordinate but if you look at the if you look at the perturbations of type this which depend on 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 spatial location that then what we find is that the unstable uh, then we find that the unpolarized state remains stable but the polarized state is not stable so polarized becomes unstable and and this behavior is quite similar to 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 the to the, uh, to, to the result in case of active hydrodynamic uh, the hydrodynamics of the active media so there also it is seen that the polarized state does not remain stable in 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 presence of non homogeneous perturbations so so again there is another there is another special scenario which can be studied and that is when the expression levels are uniform but the but if we seek some non uniform solution non homogeneous solution so here we so this this is not an exact result but an approximation so where we assume that that the non non homogeneous solution does uh, locally uh, uh, deviates from uh, from the from the perfect uh, alignment of of the polarization by a very small amount so if so the theta a and theta b are the directions of the of the polarization of those two proteins then we assume that uh, the difference of those two directions actually deviates by a very small amount uh, epsilon so when we look at it then what we find is that uh, that, the, that, that, that the dynamics of theta a and theta b can be described by these equations and when we solve these equations we find that that the polarization of 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 these proteins can 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 give us a complex result in the form of vortex and and astral arrangements so this is also seen in case of uh, in in case in in the experiments as well where 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 the global uh, where the global q or or the, or the tissue level gradients have been removed and and it is found that that such uh, such vortices and 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 uh, 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 such non homogeneous solutions are, are are seen now what happens when we take into account the 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 global q that is when we consider that one of the protein is expressed in a gradient manner so in that scenario what uh, what we find is uh, so i i would like to I, i would like your focus on first on the left plot so in left plot you can see that that for any non zero epsilon so epsilon is the magnitude of 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 uh, uh magnitude of of the gradient 
so when 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 the gradient is non zero you can see that the tissue is always polarized no matter uh, what is the value of rho not rho not is the sort of proportional to to the total protein so if you if you recall that when the gradient is not there you need a critical value of the total protein in the cell then only tissue can polarize but in case of in case of uh, when when one of the gradient is present then that constraint or, or or that requirement is not there anymore and similarly if you focus on the right plot then you can see that uh, that uh, that 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 the presence of gradient actually also takes care of another thing and that is the alignment of the polarization with the uh, with 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 the tissue axis so this gradient is present along the x axis so the second plot the second uh, second uh, figure on the right actually shows the component of of the polarization in the direction of of the x axis and as you can see that when the when when the when the gradient is reversed the 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 the, the orientation of the polarization is also reversed uh, and another thing uh, which is very int very interesting is that when we look at the stability of these solutions in the presence of this global gradients what we found is that the that the polarization remains stable even against non uniform perturbation so that means the gradient of of one of the proteins actually does many things uh, simultaneously so one of the things which is does is the establishment of polarity for 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 even in the case of a very low amount of proteins which are available in the cell second is the alignment of the protein alignment of the cell polarity with the tissue axis and the third thing is to stabilize the cell polarization which is not there in the absence of of the gradient now there are there are there are certain experimental uh, uh, there are some experiments in 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 in, in the study of of such system where, where where the protein is removed not from the whole of the tissue but from a selected region of the cells and and just to see how does the uh, the the removal of protein from a region of of the tissue affects the neighboring tissue which is otherwise uh, otherwise normal so it, here actually it's, it uh, there have been many experimental studies which have shown that 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 such removal that such removal from uh, from a select region of uh, actually affects the neighboring tissue as well so just to study that we 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 consider a, a a tissue where 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 one of the proteins one of the a or b is removed from a circular region and 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 what we found is that uh, th that in this particular case the cells actually uh, orient in a, in a radial manner and that is not too difficult to understand is uh, that is the, because the cell, because let's say the prote a, protein a is not present in this particular uh, circular region that means it's only b which is present in in the circular region so all the uh, b protein uh, at, at, uh, at at in uh, at at the cell boundary the cells which are boundary of this particular region so all the protein all b which is present in them is going to localize at the outer uh, al al along this particular along along al 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 along this along the bound along this circular boundary and that polarization actually percolates uh, it actually sort of triggers a chain reaction to 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 the cells which are at the far distance and 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 from uh, and actually not only that not only this qualitative result but we can also see how does this uh, how does this uh, uh, the effect of this how does this boundary effect decays from the disc and it turns out that that this uh, decays uh, uh, exponentially for 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 uh, for very large distances uh, for, from 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 the boundary of this particular tissue so we also looked at uh, the, the system uh, even when one of the protein is expressed in a gradient and 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 we find that that uh, uh, and and we find that that the uh, that the outcome of of this particular model actually match with the with the experiments which are which are which are available so 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 so, so uh, i just want so there is one one take home message which i wish you to take home take you with you that this particular uh, so this particular approach which is a continuum based approach uh can recapitulate uh, uh almost all of all of the experimental data not only qualitatively but but in some case even quantitative information can be provided and 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 future we 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 are seeking to we are seeking to couple couple this continuum model with the with the hydrodynamic uh, equations uh, okay so that's all from my side i think i have exceeded my time okay thank you thank you thank you suhel uh
you have questions for the discussion so uh, i have a, i have a question uh, this is devashish huh? yes so, sir, uh, nice talk uh, my question is you know is uh, something that uh, i still puzzle so you first began by saying that earlier people have modeled as discrete models with uh, yes. where the cells are treated explicitly in some sense right uh, so yeah. what were the things that they could not capture and the continuum model captures and opposite uh, what are the things that uh, continuum model cannot capture that were captured by some kind of comparison that i'm sort of interested in because yes uh, okay because okay when you say you know compared with experiment of course you know there are you know various kinds of ordered states that you described uh, but again when it actual quantitative comparison has to be made it must have been easier in the discrete than in the continuum right so your opinion on that yeah okay so for, okay so uh, one okay so uh, all of these discrete because these models are discrete so all of them actually rely on 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 simulation of these equations and they do not provide any analytical understanding so that is one difference so that's what we get when we consider the continuum model and and actually the the, the motivation for 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 uh, for going a continuum approach is is not really cannot really be appreciated from the result which i have shown but but if we wish to couple this particular uh, these protein interactions with the flow of the cells in in let's say in a developing epithelium then we already have a well established field of 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 active, uh, of active hydrodynamics so that will be much easier to couple now from uh, in terms of comparison so of course since we are looking at the continuum limit so that means the length scale which we are in, we which we can capture from this particular approach a continuum approach it will be much larger than 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 the length scale of a single cell so these the discrete models can definitely capture the features which are there let's say of a single cell or a couple of cells a uh, couple of cells cells long but but definitely we cannot capture that from the continuum modeling so that is one limitation limitation there you see my point is that initially when you presented the you know the phenomenon you said that there are certain proteins bind in a particular way okay so basically like parallel or anti parallel or you know who is suppressing whom who is activating whom and so these are very crucial for the in a short module which ultimately is coupled to the larger modules right yes, so, yeah. so so that is something that is very crucial for understanding uh, you know who is binding with whom and how that is leading to uh, this phenomena but who is binding with whom is going to be lost in the continuum version right uh, uh, no 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 i okay so he, okay so uh, uh, maybe i did not explain it in detail so here the, the 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 binding of the protein is not lost so if you look at the equation which is shown here in case of 1d so the attachment is just proportional to whatever protein is available in the cytoplasm right but if you look at the detachment part then the detachment part also has this br element this br at x minus l so this particular protein actually this particular term takes into account the interaction of al which is the protein a at the left edge of the cell and its interaction with the protein b in the neighboring cell so that interaction is taken into account hello hello yeah um so any other question from audience sorry i i had asked this follow up question probably this was not yeah. okay Ah, oh, so my my, my follow up question was that yes. uh, on the one hand it is a coarse grained model uh, when yes. you continue on, uh, but the way it, it is being written that as mm -hmm. if you are capturing things at the level of a single cell length yes so is, is this consistent uh well uh uh so for example mm -hmm. when you say density or rho etc that is not defined mm -hmm. at the level of a single cell this is coarse grained over some distance right okay but it yes then when you to say x minus l and x plus l where l presumably is the length scale of the cell length scale of the cell yes so that i i find you know sort of inconsistent in some sense well if we, if we, if we consider that the variations which are there at the 
because we are because because of this course grading the the variations are also of a very uh, are, are 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 also averaged over a over 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 a domain and and the variation of of these differences is also uh, these variations are also going to vary uh, at a very larger uh, length scale as compared to a single cell so in that sense uh, this x uh, uh, this x minus l is uh, sort of going to capture the average behavior in the neighboring in 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 in, in uh, average av average values of of the protein in the in the in the in the neighboring uh, neighboring domain okay so i, I still <laughs> but anyway yeah yeah okay thank you yeah. so there is one question in in uh, in, in, in chat, chat box, in chat box. Yeah. so it says that in active matter some physical assumptions are made to the hierarchies of fourier mode yeah okay so yeah so i did not go into that so here also we make the same assumption so uh, so if, if you can see here we can write down the protein distribution as as, as a fourier series and then you can calculate then we can actually get the equations for for all of the fourier harmonics so in general, so if we perform this integration, this approach, we are going to get infinite equations. So we need to get some closure. We need to get, uh, we need to do something to get, get, get closure. So to do that, what we do is we assume that, that the variation, the, 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 the time scale of the variation of the second harmonic is very large. So that means the, the, the variation, uh, 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 uh Variation beyond the first harmonic, that is, let's say, a two and b two and and beyond. So they do not vary; they do not change in time. So you can uh, write down the equation for a two and b two, and 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 because they do not vary in time, so you can calculate those quantities in terms of a naught, b naught, and p a and p b. So that is the exactly same assumption, exactly same approach, which is which is made made in the in case of active matter. Any other question from audience? So I have a simple question. So, so as you have mentioned in the introduction part, so there are some cell polarity. So the yeah. origin of the cell polarity is uh, because of some uh, heterogeneous distribution of some proteins. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, 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 so there are there are some. Yeah. So, so in case of planar cell polarity, the 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 this polarity comes from a certain of proteins, and and this distribution comes due to the interaction of these proteins across the boundaries of 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 two cells which are neighbor to each other. Thank you. Any other question from audience? Since the, uh, so, since there is there are no other question, um, so then actually we can thank to Suhel for his wonderful presentation and uh, yeah, and then I am actually hand over to organizers. Okay, uh, Suhel, thank you very much for your talk and Sudipto, thanks for chairing ch this session. Thank you. And thank you all. We'll thank you in the after late afternoon today. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.